Ladies and gentlemen, grillers and smokers, let's talk turkey. Welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. I'm your host, Captain Ron. So this week, it's that time of year again, so we're gonna talk turkey. Now we've done a couple videos on how to make the perfect turkey in the big green egg. We've done them regular, we've done them spatchcock, but you've ever seen this? It's a frog turkey. You've probably seen frog chicken. This is frog turkey. Let me explain it to you, tell you what it is, and show you how to do it. Now you've seen our video on spatchcock turkey. Spatchcocking is where you cut the backbone out of it, you lay the turkey flat, and you cook it like that. Makes for a really even cooking, comes out beautiful. But a lot of people believe that that backbone adds a lot of flavor to the turkey. So spatchcocking gets rid of the backbone, maybe gets rid of some of the flavor. Well, my buddy Al Fragoni came up with a way called the frog chicken, actually, but we're gonna do it on frog turkey. They call it that because when it's done, it comes out looking like a frog. It's really cool. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna show you how to prepare it. I'm gonna show you how to cut it. We're gonna lay it flat, sort of like spatchcocking. No backbone removal though. So let's get started. Now what we're gonna do to this thing is we're gonna start by cutting the wing tips off. For some reason, this one came with one already removed. I hope they didn't charge me extra for that, but one's already moved. So we're gonna cut this other wing tip off. We're gonna take this little plastic piece off of here and we're gonna sp spread it out. Now the next part is we're gonna cut down between the leg and thigh and the breasts. We're gonna cut it right just like that and we're gonna show it how we're gonna lay it flat. Once we do that, we're gonna cut underneath the rib cage. Might even have to go through a couple little bones, but once we do that, we're gonna open it up, lay it flat, and thrust it down. Now, as you can see, we cut both sides in here so we can really pull this thing back and just sort of give it a little pull like that. Perfect. And now comes the fun part. Now we flip it over, set it just like that, and just give it a good solid push down. Just like that. The other thing you wanna do is give a good push down on the thigh. It'll help it lay a lot flatter like that. See, which is a little push, and you'll feel it kind of give a little, makes it lay nice and flat. So can you kind of see here now how it looks like a frog? Leg, front leg, front leg. And then this is the ribbit portion of your frog. Ribbit. And that's pretty cool, right? It looks cool, something different. I know it's gonna look weird on your Thanksgiving table, but boy, it will sure look good and taste even better. So. Next up is to season it. Now there's a couple of different things you can do. Some people rub butter over it. Some people do oil. I like to use this, it's duck fat spray. It gives it a real nice crispiness. It doesn't add a ton of different flavor to it, but it works really, really well when you're cooking something like this up. It's gonna help crisp that skin. Remember, this is a small bird. It's not gonna cook forever. We're gonna cook at a little higher temperature. We want that skin to crisp. Nobody likes rubbery skin when you bite into it. Nobody wants rubbery skin. So spray your turkey with duck fat spray. Now. You can use whatever you want to season it. I'm gonna do this one a little different. We carry this, it's called the chimichurri. It's made by Al Fragoni also. Since he developed this frog method, we're gonna use his chimichurri. It's an awesome seasoning. You can also make chimichurri out of it. You just mix some red wine vinegar and oil. Phenomenal, so it's a really good thing. But I also like to use it. We're gonna sprinkle it all over our bird because it's delicious and it looks good too. So let's season her up. All right, it's all seasoned right, right? No, no, no. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to season under the skin as well for extra flavor. So what you do is you kind of lift up this flap of skin here and the, the meat where it meets the skin, you can just kind of gently kind of work your fingers in there. There we go. You can feel it when it gives. It's like there's a membrane there that's gonna give. And then just slowly work your fingers up underneath here. Just move it back and forth slowly. You don't wanna tear the skin, but you wanna just create a pocket. I got my fingers all the way up to the knuckle in here so I can put seasoning all up in there. So all I do then, I just put it right up in there. And just like we did it to the breast, you could do the same thing to the thighs and the drum. Again, you just stick your finger in here and just work your way slowly. Now this skin already has a rip in it. I didn't do that. So the skin already had a rip on it, but you wanna try not to rip the skin. That's the whole idea here, okay? So now we got this beautiful pocket that I could put all of this seasoning down into. So beautiful, I almost don't even wanna cook it. But the good news is, is that our bird is now all the way seasoned. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> One thing I'll tell you, I bet you that the pilgrims weren't eating any frog chicken, that's for sure. Al Fragoni, thank you, sir. We are going to be cooking our bird today at 375 indirect. If you're not sure what that means, we're gonna use our expander with our deflector in there. It means there's no flames directly underneath the bird. The flames are gonna be underneath this, gonna come around the outsides and cook it away. Now, as you can see, we already have a load of charcoal in there from last time we cooked. So all I'm gonna do is put a couple of our Fogo starters into this Blaze-A-Ball. 
and light our fire. If you want to know more about this, there's, just, there's a link in the description tells you all about what the blaze ball is and how our fire starter starts. So let's light this thing up. All right, now we put our diffuser or our convector back in. If you notice, there's three tabs. I'm putting one with that's right in line with the thermometer, right in front of the egg. So we put it in there. And let's let her heat up. All right, she's looking good. Our egg is up to temperature, 375 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and just pick this baby up and lay it right on the grates. Now, it was a pretty tight fit, but it was a 12 and a half pound turkey. It's the biggest one that my Publix had right now, my supermarket, so that's what I had to get. So 12 and a half pounds. If you're going too much bigger than that, you may wanna go over to the XL. Either that or a little trick for you. If you have like a rib rack or something like that, put it in there, this way it'll sit like this. It fits a lot better. So you can fit really a pretty good size one on the large if you just put something underneath it and let it kind of cook like that. So a little tip for you. So we got a little while while the turkey's cooking. So let's go over, kind of cover what we did. It's called frog turkey. The reason being the way that we cut it, it lays flat and it looks like a frog when it's done. Pretty cool. But not only that, the whole reason for doing this is not just to look cool. There's a reason behind it. What it does is it lays it flat and it cooks everything right nice and evenly, kind of at the same temperature. So Everything's going to be done at the same time, okay? Your breasts are the thickest part, so they're going to take the longest. And what happens is that the dark meat's going to be done at about 185. The breast can be done at about 165, all right about the same time because of the way that we cut that turkey open. So it's a great way to do it. It's easy. It's faster than cooking the turkey whole standing up like that because the heat is really getting to it every which direction. So it's a great way to do it. Try frog turkey and let me know what you think of it, ribbit. So if you forget a step and realize, hey, how are we going to keep track of the temperatures of that turkey? We already put it on the grill. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's go ahead and put the meter in there so we know what temperature our turkey's at. Good news, everybody. The meter says that the turkey is done. It's at 161 degrees. Now, turkey is done at 165, right? Why are we pulling it off at 161? Well, let me tell you why. Because it's going to continue to cook after we take it off. It's beautiful and it's ready to come off, but it's going to still cook. We're going to let it rest for about 10 minutes and it's gonna heat up that extra five or six degrees till it's completely and perfectly done at 165. Frog turkey, it's so riveting exciting, I can't stand it. So anyway, so it's really cooked beautifully. The skin, I don't know if you can hear that, because it has a nice crisp to it. It's a beautiful thing, just what we wanted, just what we were looking for, crispy skin, cooked through and through. So now we let this rest about 15 minutes or so. So let's see if we should be able to just pull this off. Oh yeah, look at that. It just comes right apart. Gorgeous, juicy as can be. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm in love already. Let's do the other one. Now we're gonna separate the breast from the rest of it. So we just kind of grab it and break it off just like that. All right, so when you want to carve your turkey, there's a number of different ways you can do it. Some people cut the whole breast off, some people like it thin, so you can just kind of take it like this and just cut thin slices right off. The other way to do it is you can cut the breast right off it. So you find your backbone, and you go to the other side of the backbone, and just kind of cut down, and then as you get to the bottom, just angle your knife like that, and then you angle it along the bottom here. Voila, beautiful turkey breast. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not cooking your turkey over fire, are you even really cooking a turkey? I don't think the pilgrims had an oven to put theirs in. They cooked it over fire, so that's what we did. In any case, listen, this was absolutely phenomenal. The, the turkey turned out so moist. I wanna show you something too here, okay? Grab this piece and I pull back the skin. And look at all that seasoning that's underneath there, right on the meat itself. So that's a good testament to why you wanna put some seasoning up under the skin like we did before. It just adds more flavor as it cooks, it seeps down into the meat, it's so delicious. Now, there's only one thing left to do on this cook, okay? And what it involves is taking a piece of this turkey and putting it in my mouth. And, oh my God, oh, Tom, turkey, that's delicious. Seriously, that is one seriously good piece of turkey. That chimichurri is a really good seasoning on there. Delicious, and I'm telling you, you bite into that, that just thing just, I won't say it, but it, it like drips in my mouth. So it's so moist and so delicious. Perfect white meat, the dark meat is done absolutely to a T. 
This frog method is such a great way to cook your turkey evenly. And that's what you want. You don't want to sit down and have one part be done and one part not done and one part overdone. You want it all done the same. So this is a really great method. Al, I got to tell you, nice job coming up with this one, okay? So listen, if you saw any of our products that I used in this video and you're interested in learning about them, there is literally tags to everything down in the description below. Just hit the link, check it out, buy it if you want, whatever you want. But all, all of these products I used are all available down there. Also, for seasoning, it doesn't have to be tur Thanksgiving, okay? Turkey is good any time of the year. So don't, don't, don't show, sell yourself short. Make turkey a couple times. I think it's delicious. My family loves it. I want you to remember to subscribe to our channel, okay? If you like what you saw here, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. And most of all, leave us a comment. Tell me your favorite way to cook a turkey. I want to know. How are you cooking yours this Thanksgiving? Anyway, that's all I have. I'm Captain Ron. I want you to remember to get out and grill, and I'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life.